There are lots of use cases for taking your local development server and exposing it to the internet. For example, you might want to allow a third-party webhook to call your APIs while you are working on them, or test your website on a different device, or just send the URL to someone else in your team so that they can play with your work. These use cases are now natively supported from within VS Code without any third-party extensions, so let's take a look. I'm in a simple Next.js project and if I run my local development server over here using npm run dev, you can see that I can access my website at localhost 3000. And of course, if I open this up in my browser, I can see my website in action. But of course, I can only access localhost on this developer machine. Fortunately, there is now a new ports tab within VS Code that allows us to forward a particular port over to the public internet. Since our application runs at port 3000, that is the port that I will forward. At this point, you will be prompted to log in to VS Code using GitHub if you haven't already done so, and it's going to be the standard OAuth process that is used by lots of websites. Visual Studio Code is owned by the same organization that owns GitHub, so you're not really interacting with any third parties. The way port forwarding within VS Code works is that it uses a service provided by Microsoft. Now that port forwarding is active, you can see that the port 3000 is forwarded to a place on the internet and we can open this URL using the browser icon next to the address. The first time someone visits this URL, they will be prompted that Microsoft takes no responsibility for the contents of this URL because of course the contents are controlled by the developer that did the port forwarding. If they choose to continue, then here we go. We have a local development server publicly available on the internet. By default, local tunnels are auth protected. This means that you can only access the content behind the URL if you are signed into the browser with the same GitHub account that created the tunnel. This has the advantage that you can test the URL without running the risk of exposing sensitive information to other people on the internet. However, if you want to make the forward address publicly available, that is quite easy to do as well. To demonstrate what I mean, if I open the same URL in a guest browser where I am not signed into GitHub, you can see that I'm prompted to sign in in order to access the content. And this will be perfectly fine for me to test this URL on different devices because of course I can sign in with my credentials. But that's not going to be true for anyone else that I share this URL with because of course I'm not going to give them my GitHub credentials. And this is what visibility private means within the ports tab. I can actually make this port public quite easily by right clicking and selecting port visibility public. And now you can see that the visibility has changed from private to public. And now if I again try to access the URL with a completely blank instance of the browser, you can see that I can access the URL without being prompted to sign into GitHub. I'll wrap things up there. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to build a full course on Visual Studio Code. And as always, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.